Alrighty, well I thought I might as well do a bit of a quick update while I'm out here and got the camera with me. Actually, it's, it's on my phone because the camera's flat, so excuse the poor quality of this. <laughs> but um, this is where we're at at the moment. We've got it on our wheels, as you've probably seen before, but we've, since getting it driving and all that, we've taken it, taken the seat back off and we've given it on the, the chassis some um, final coat of black, so it's got a really good shine on it now that you can't tell because it's got dust and everything all over it. Uh, the brake hubs are taken back off because the studs have come loose in there and as you try to do the, the nut up, it would um, spin in the hub, so I've taken them off and, and done all of that. Um, apart from that, not a lot else, not a lot else to report on this. Um, we have got a new wiring harness. We ordered it from Vintage Wiring Harnesses. They're down in Melbourne. Here's the uh, what's the phone number here. Here's their address, vinwire.com.au, if you can see that. Very good guys, they did a very good job of it. And there's their phone number there too. Yeah, um, although it cost us, cost us about 350 I think, about, about that for this, it, you can see it's all done really well. I mean, we put all the tags on there just so we knew what we were looking at. And I've just been transferring all the plugs from the old harness, which, looks, which is this one here, and all of that mess down there, to the new one. And it all comes in plastic bags like this, so you, Get them all like that. The main one that goes up the scuttle is all, all, all as one. All the braiding and all the proper wiring that should be. That's just an earth that goes up in there somewhere. But um, we also requested that we had an extra line and put in for a stop light, so you know brake light. We got indicators here too, which we, which we're going to hook up. And they also give you more light, more cables coming out down here. So you have got another one for your indicators, and the same one this side over here, and then also for your brake light, they can travel down the back. Another good thing is they gave you a, a whole separate harness, or you know, done the same as this one here, uh, for the back. So that that includes your uh, what is it, your tail light, your brake light, and your indicators too. So so that's good. And we also requested a few extra wires just to put a cigarette lighter in, and for a spotlight that's going to be on the spare wheel. But it's going to have a cigarette lighter mounted up underneath the dash out of sight. So if and when we need one, you know, in dire straits, we've got it there to use. Um, and also the, the sp spare spare wheel spotlight. It's going to be sitting on the spare wheel that's outside of our driver's door, so have a little cable running through the body or something for it, and that'll be, that'll be handy. But yeah, that's where we're at with that. Um, for the body, we've made a little trolley that's on caster wheels. Um, it's just out of an old you know, old wooden frame, nothing special, but it does the job. As you can see, it's very cheap, out of random bits of wood that we've found in the shed. And these caster wheels actually got for $1. fifty from uh, Cheapest Chips. And I went to Bunning um, at one of ten, and I had a look, and they had the same ones for about six or seven dollars or something like that. So, yeah. This is what, this is the body. It's all actually in pretty good shape. All the woodwork's very good. It's all usable, <coughs> apart from a slight bit that's down the bottom. You can see the rust there, the mandatory rust on the bottom of the tub. Um, and there's a bit of wood that underneath that that's rotted away, so I have to replace that bit. But apart from that, it's all very, very good. Um, you can see this is where the front seat goes, but it's actually an adjustable seat, so you can slide it back and forth along these railings here. So you've got one there and you've got one on the other side there too. And the seat is just over there at the moment, it has the wheels on it. But all the door locks, all the locks are still on there. And all your handles. Yeah, so it's all in very good condition. All in all, but it's going to make new toolboxes for in here too, because they're all... They're all a bit crappy, and the tin one there started to rust a bit. This back one here is where the people have put their umbrellas. <laughs> so you'd think logically that'd be a rusted out, but it's not too bad. As far as underneath goes, no, there's nothing to sneeze at either. It's all very well there. Not that you can see much in the camera. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at, at the moment, and this is really easy to wheel. You can just pull it. Yeah, it's really light, so that's what we want. Yeah, pull the Morris out. That's my poppers Morris. And yeah, just work on the body in the middle of the shed. Which will be very handy. And there's the front of that. Can you see? Just <laughs> not sure what's going on with that. Yeah, um it's not running a hundred percent, gotta sort that out. Yeah, it might be the head gasket, we're not sure. But one of the spark plugs was rusty, the front spark plug, which probably isn't a good sign. Um but again, it has been restored for 30 years, so yeah. it's done pretty well. Yeah, there's your motor for you. 
yeah, it's the same spark plug just here. So whether that means the block has rusted, rusted away, you can see a bit of rust here. But whether the block has rusted away so much that it um that it was some water from the water galleries is starting to get into the cylinder, we're not sure. But it's all fun and games, it's time to look at. Um yeah, I've, I think I've eliminated most of the other issues while I've cleaned all the spark plugs off. Cleaned all the points on the Maggie as well, and I've taken all the jets out of the carby and made sure they're not blocked. And I've cleaned up all the all the petrol lines, so nothing's nothing's um, stopping it in that way. So yeah, just something to muck around with and have a look at. But yeah, and this is actually really good. It will start, you know, third pull, and by pull I mean you know half a turn from. Six or twelve, you know, it's really good. I start to sit for a couple of weeks too. Just when we started, we got to put our thumb over the um, oil pressure because <laughs> we don't have a have a tank on which is connected to the oil gauge yet. So for the time being, we just do that and hope and try and not let the oil come out. But as you can see, we haven't succeeded a few times. Oh, something else to note: um, you also get. Uh, back, well we we included a we bought a battery cable with a wiring harness, which is a bit extra because that's not included in the in the um in the standard harness. But you can see this runs up the length of the chassis, so we get to the cross member here and goes across and then down to the battery six. So you know, let me go up the brakes hooked up too. They're all all done with cables. Um, yeah, and that's where we're at at the moment. Stay tuned for a later update. Thanks.